Do you know, the law of non-resistance is a law that nine out of ten people violate. And because they do, they cause themselves a lot of problems. It's a pretty well-balanced individual that understands how to live in harmony and not let this get to them. The law of non-resistance. Think of this for a moment. When you go to do anything that's out of the box, where you're really going where you've never been before, you're going to meet with resistance. As a matter of fact, if you don't meet with resistance, you're probably going in the wrong direction. You're not going ahead. You're either going sideways or backwards. Resistance is a signal that you're moving into a new area. However, whatever you resist persists. And what we're suggesting here is that you do not resist the resistance. Now, that sounds like a bit of a mouthful. But understand this. You and I are programmed to resist resistance. That's part of our animalistic nature. Fight or flight. What we want to do is master this. And instead of fight or flight or react, let's respond. Do you know there's a a beautiful concept, it's the law of psychological reciprocity that rests on this law. That law states, whenever you put good out, you'll get good back, but very rarely right away. When you put bad out, bang, you get it right back. Well, let's think about that for a moment. We'll use the martial arts as a metaphor here. Karate is a very hard form of martial arts. You whack me, I whack you. You kick me, I kick you. And we beat the daylights out of each other. That's resisting resistance. Karate is not the way we want to approach this. When somebody yells at us, let them yell. Let them vent all the negativity, but not hit back. Then you take judo. Judo is where you take the strength of the other person's shot and put them down. You don't win much doing that. You know, it's reported that um, Sir Winston Churchill was a master at psychological judo. One time, Bessie Braddock, who had been a member of Parliament for Liverpool, said, Sir Winston, you're drunk and disgusting. He said, yes, madam, I am. And he said, you're ignorant. You're ugly. But he said, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be sober. (laughs) What did he do? He won the battle and lose the war. Lady Astaire one time said to him, Sir Winston, if I was your wife, I'd put arsenic in your coffee. He said, Madam, if I was your husband, I would drink it. Resisted. He loses. George Bernard Shaw apparently had sent Sir Winston an invitation to uh, Pygmalion when it came out in London. That we probably know better as my fair lady today. And on the invitation, he put a written note. Bring a friend if you have one. So Winston sent him a note back and saying that he was sorry he was tied up opening night, but he said, if the play's still running the second night, I'd be glad to come and see it. And you see, psychological judo, you put the person down with the strength of their shot. You win the battle, but you lose the war. Now, there's another way to do it, the non-resistant way. It's called a kato. That's where you take a shot at me, I duck and let it keep on going. I take it and I duck and keep. You kick, I duck and keep on, let it keep on going. I do not let you touch me. I don't fight back. I stay fresh. And when you've vented all your negative energy, I'm as fresh as a daisy and I can lead you to where you want to go. That's non-resistance. See, there's a law of non-resistance. Whatever you resist persists. So the next time you meet with resistance, rather than fight back, just let it go. It's not that important. And if you can get this law down pat, I guarantee you, you're going to have a good trip all the way to the top. Because you see, it's whenever we get out of the box, when we're moving ahead, I'm working on a new project. In fact, I've been working on it for a year. I have met with enormous amount of resistance. I just let it go. I just let it go. And I know when there's a lot of resistance on a program that I'm involved in, I'm on the right track. You see, if you're just going sideways, there isn't any resistance. You're doing something you already know. The law of non-resistance 
of these 11 laws that you're getting, this is one of the most important. Burn it into your mind. And remember, don't react, respond. I remember to close off with, I was doing a seminar with a, a bunch of teenagers in Hawaii one time. And I asked the kids, I said, what's the difference between reacting and responding? This one little 15-year-old girl looked off into space and she put her hand up. And she says, reacting is a habit. To respond, you have to think. It was the best answer I'd ever got. 15 years old. To react is a habit. To respond, you have to think. Now think of this. When you react, whatever it is that's causing you to react wins. You lose. When you respond, you win. The law of non-resistance. It's a great law to understand. Use it, and you'll win. This is Bob Proctor, and thank you.